Did you know that in France, you can legally marry a dead person? Let me also tell you that the shortest ever reign as king of this country was for a mere 20 minutes. Do you also know that Emma Watson is from France? This hexagonal-shaped and tourist magnet country and a refuge for croissant lovers is full of surprises waiting to be discovered. In the 5th century BCE, Gaul, the land of Celtic tribes, witnessed the rise of powerful chieftains and the usual conquest by the Romans. As the Roman Empire grew, Gaul became a part of it, adopting Roman culture, language, and governance. But with the fall of Rome in the 5th century CE, the Franks appeared as a leading force in Western Europe. Under the leadership of Clovis, the first king of the Franks led the spread of Christianity, which established a foundation for medieval France. In the Carolingian Empire of the 8th to 10th centuries, Charlemagne's rule united much of Western Europe. But eventually, the empire split into feudal territories. The Capetian dynasty became one of the most powerful ruling families of Europe for over 800 years, bringing stability. But the Hundred Years' War with England shaped French identity and nationalism. The Renaissance and the Age of Enlightenment saw France at the peak of art, science, and philosophy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were named after four of the most famous Renaissance artists. Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. So while the Renaissance began in Italy, its impact extended beyond its borders, influencing cultural movements and artistic developments throughout Europe, including France. But instability followed with the French Revolution, ending the monarchy and introducing the First Republic. It marked a significant shift in French politics, society, and governance, overthrowing the monarchy and instituting principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity. The revolution culminated in the abolition of the monarchy and the proclamation of the First Republic on September 22, 1792, signaling the end of centuries of monarchical rule in France and the beginning of a new era of republican governance. Enter Napoleon Bonaparte, a French emperor and military commander who rose to prominence during the French Revolution and led successful campaigns during the Revolutionary Wars, whose conquests reshaped Europe in the 19th century. The shortest reign as King of France belongs to Louis XIX or Louis Antoine, who reigned for just 20 minutes on August 2, 1830. He became king after his father, Charles X. World War I, also known as the Great War, left France deeply scarred, only to be followed by the horrors of World War II and Germany launched a blitzkrieg invasion, swiftly conquering much of France and forcing the French government to surrender. Yet from the ashes of conflict arose post-war reconstruction and the birth of the European Union. One of the key milestones in France's relationship with the European Union was the signing of the Treaty of Rome in 1957, which aimed to create a common market and promote economic cooperation among member states. Today, France remains a global cultural powerhouse, influencing art, fashion, and cuisine worldwide, as France remains one of the global capitals of fashion, with Paris serving as the epicenter of haute couture and high fashion and renowned for its world-class museums, galleries, and cultural institutions, including the Louvre, Musée d'Orsay, Centre Pompidou, and Musée Picasso, among others as well. Now let's unfold the national flag of France, a symbol of France's enduring spirit and ideals. Blue, representing freedom and loyalty, echoes the blue and red cockades proudly worn by revolutionary fighters. The color white, which stands for innocence and purity, is inspired by the white flag of the Bourbon dynasty, and red, which represents bravery and the sacrifices made for change. France covers an area of over half a million square kilometers, making it the third largest country in Europe. Despite its size, its coastline stretches for over 3,000 kilometers, offering breathtaking views 
of both the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. Now, let's talk mountains. France is home to some of Europe's most iconic peaks, including the Pyrenees and the Alps, crowned by the majestic Mont Blanc, standing tall at 4,810 meters. But it's not just the mountains that make France beautiful. Its diverse ecosystems support a rich variety of flora and fauna. From the oak forests of the lowlands to the lavender fields of Provence, nature's palette paints a stunning picture. Paris is the capital and largest city of France, renowned for its rich history, cultural heritage, and iconic landmarks such as the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Louvre Museum. As a global center for art, fashion, gastronomy, and culture, Paris attracts millions of visitors each year and plays a pivotal role in shaping trends in various fields worldwide. With its charming boulevards, historic neighborhoods, and vibrant atmosphere, Paris remains a symbol of elegance and sophistication. To the north, we have Belgium and Luxembourg, while to the east, France shares its borders with Germany, Switzerland, and Italy. Down south, you'll find Spain, Andorra, and across the English Channel, the United Kingdom. From the snow-capped peaks of the Alps to the sun-drenched beaches of the Riviera, in the winter, average temperatures range from a chilly 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit, or 2 degrees Celsius in the northeast, to a milder 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit, or 8 degrees Celsius in Corsica. But come summer, things heat up, especially in inland areas, where heat waves can push temperatures above 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or 35 degrees Celsius. And now, we're diving into the heart of France its people, icons, and mouth-watering cuisine. Let's kick things off with some numbers. According to global data, the population is over 68 million, which makes France a melting pot of diverse cultures and backgrounds. And did you know for every 100 females, there are 93 males? Talk about a balanced society. Didn't I just mention that French people can legally marry a dead person? Yes, it's true. Posthumous marriage, or mariage posthume, which is found in Article 171 of the French Civil Code, allows a living person to marry someone who has died, provided there are compelling reasons and all necessary formalities were completed before the death. This rare practice, legalized in 1959, requires the president's approval and primarily serves to honor the couple's commitment without granting inheritance rights to the surviving spouse. Now, on to the icons who've left their mark on the world stage. From football wonder Kylian Mbappé to the charming Emma Watson, France has produced a stellar cast of talent. And who can forget the spirited Napoleon Bonaparte or the legendary Marie Curie? a physicist and chemist known for her groundbreaking research on radioactivity, and also the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and remains the only person to have won Nobel Prizes in two different scientific fields. But let's not forget the rhythm of France. From the gritty beats of French rap, with artists like MC Solar leading the charge, to the timeless melodies of chanson tradition, music pulses through the veins of this nation. And speaking of beats, French music festivals offer a mixture of sounds for every taste. Did you know that French cuisine was awarded UNESCO World Heritage Status in 2010? From the pungent aroma of aioli to the creamy indulgence of aligot, every dish tells a story. And who could resist sinking their teeth into a buttery croissant or savoring the delicate flavors of escargots? Whether you're craving comfort food like coco vin or a taste of the sea with bouillabaisse, French cuisine never disappoints. So, whether you're drawn to the charm of French icons, the rhythm of its music, or the irresistible flavors of its cuisine, France has something for everyone. If you enjoyed this video on France, you'll love this next one.